belonging to a quarry at the end of Thomas's branch goes for some distance along the road. And Thomas is always very careful to whistle here in case anyone was coming. Early one morning, a large policeman was sitting close to the lion. Thomas liked policemen, who had been a great friend of the constable who had just retired. He would say, good morning. Thomas expected that the new constable would be friendly too, but was sorry to see that he didn't look friendly at all. He was red in the face and very cross. Disgracefully spotted. I didn't sleep a wink last night. It was so quiet, and now engines come whistling suddenly behind me. I'm sorry, sir, said Thomas. I only said good morning. The policeman pointed to Thomas. Where's your cow catcher, he asked. But I don't catch cows, sir. Don't be funny, snapped the policeman. He looked at Thomas's wheels. No side plates either. He wrote in his notebook. Engines on the public road must have their wheels covered and a cow catcher in front to protect people and animals from being dragged under the wheels if they stray onto the line. You haven't, so you are dangerous. Rubbish, said Thomas's driver. We've been along here hundreds of times and never had an accident. That makes it worse, the policeman answered. He wrote regular lawbreaker in his book. Thomas was sadly away. <laughs> The fat controller was having breakfast. He was eating toast and marmalade. The butler came in. Excuse me, sir. You are wanted on the telephone. Bother that telephone, said the fat controller. I'm sorry, my dear, he said to his wife. Thomas is in trouble with the police, and I must go at once. At the station, Thomas's driver told the fat controller what had happened. Dangerous to the public, indeed. We'll see about that. The fat controller spoke to the policeman. But however much he argued with him, it was no good. The law is the law, he said, and we can't change it. The fat controller felt exhausted. I'm sorry, driver, he said. It's no use arguing with policemen. We will have to make those cow catcher things for Thomas, I suppose. Everyone will laugh, sir, said Thomas. They'll say I look like a tramp. That controller stirred. Then he laughed. Well done, Thomas. Why didn't I think of it before? We want a tram engine. When I was on my holiday, I met a nice little engine called Toby. He takes trucks from the farms, and the lorries are taking over most of his work, and he needs a change. He has cow catches and side plates. I'll write to his controller at once. A few days later, Toby arrived. That's a good engine, said the fat controller. I see you brought your coach, Henrietta. You don't mind, do you, sir? asked Toby. The station master wanted to use her as a hen house, and that would never do. No, indeed, said the fat controller. He couldn't allow that. Toby made the silly trucks behave even better than Thomas did. At first, Thomas was jealous, but he was so pleased when Toby rang his bell and frightened the policeman, they've been firm friends ever since. Thank you.